Alright guys, welcome to the first episode of my platforming tutorial series. You may be wondering why I have a document open. So we're going to make what is called a game design document. As that name, what that means is that we're creating a document that records like what the game is about, features, the story, the characters, who's going to be working on what, and stuff like that. So what I have so far is... I want to follow case in point Super Mario 64 so we're gonna make a game similar to that but a bit different so the character is gonna be called Mario and the name I have so far is Mario's Tasty Adventure you could think about the team already it's gonna be like food base you're gonna have pickups maybe ice cream stuff like that we're gonna do all of that so the things you're gonna need for this tutorial is Godot of course gonna need blender you're gonna need LMMS, that's the music program, and we're gonna also use Audacity because we're gonna do what's called the Foley method for recording audio for like move, walking, jumping, stuff like that. So I must skip here and create a document. All right, guys, here's the story so far. Well, this is the entire story. I'm keeping it simple. So Mario's younger brother Eli wanted to help his sister make the best cake ever created. <laughs> so he went to an old witch's house and stole a magic cookbook. The magic cookbook transformed the world into food objects and trapped Eli in the book's world as a human sugar. As human sugar. Maria has to go in the book and save his brother and restore the world to normal. Alright, so cut in again. Okay guys, so the gameplay mechanics. Alright, so 3D platformer similar to Super, Super Mario 64. You're gonna have a hub here, you know like the castle. But they're gonna have only have 10 levels because it's a series, I need to finish it. And then I have a final boss. So the character can walk, run, jump, long jump, head stomp, similar to all Mario games. And then attack with a rolling pin. That's like to help with the team because she's a cook. So we can also do climbing, poles, and climbable walls. So you like can go sideways, up or down, you know what I mean. Then you could collect, so the mission is to collect all pieces of a cake, a large cake. That's one piece in each level. And then that unlocks the final boss. We're going to get to how we're going to do it. Like maybe you could make the boss want the cake or it only comes alive after he gets the whole cake. Something like that. And then that's how the game ends. You beat the boss, you get Eli and you save the world and then destroy the book. Alright, so... We're gonna cut again and go to characters. Okay guys, I did the uh, characters and some enemies. So you have Maria, a young upcoming cook, and Eli, Maria's younger brother. The talking cake wall, that's gonna be like where you bring the cakes to, the, where you pick up from each level. And it talks to you and say, ooh, you have all the cakes, blah, 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 blah. Then you have enemies. Oh, for this one too, you guys could write in the comments um, if you want me to add another type of enemy. So, so far I have uh, Mr. Bug, a roach enemy that charges at Maria if he sees her, if it sees her. Then Sir Beetle, a flying bug that shoots goo balls at, at Maria. And then Presselot is a large stationary enemy, similar to the, I don't know, you remember the blocks that when you go close to they they drop down from up this, in the sky in the Mario games. So that's the idea with that one. And then you have Monty the Spoil Egg. Just an egg that runs at Mario and explodes. So I have right at the side, at the end, I have like AI, what the, each one does. So the bug just walks. The other one that flies and shoots. And then Bersalot is static. I mean stationary, I, sh I should put stationary, but um, it observes, it waits to see if Mario is in the area and attack if, it, if she is. And then this one's walking and exploding. Alright, we're gonna get to the game. Let's do the um prototype. There's the fun stuff. Okay guys, part two should be on the screen somewhere here. Join me to where I start working on the prototype. 